Node-RED runs on Node.js, so it's the first prerequisite for installation. You can install using a packet manager, or you can download from their website. Version 6 is suggested, but Node-RED can run on version 8. The next step is to install Node-RED itself. Regardless of the operating system, you install this using the Node Packet Manager from a command prompt. So we type npm for the Node Packet Manager, install, g is for all users, and then we do a unsafe, unsafe perm um, elevates the installation. This is especially helpful on things like a Raspberry Pi where it might not have the permissions otherwise. Then we do node red. Node red should install in a few minutes. There are many MQTT brokers out there. HiveMQ is one of the easiest to use on Windows. You can download it for free. You simply have to fill out the form and get a download link. HiveMQ doesn't need to be installed. Just simply extract all the files. You can run by clicking the run.bat in the bin folder. In order to run Node-RED, we're going to open up a command prompt and type node red alright so to test operation we're gonna open a web browser and we're gonna type in localhost because node red is installed on this machine localhost 1880 node red is up and running to test uh, MQTT we're going to need to do a few other things here. So I've downloaded a test client called MQTT Spy. I'm just going to go ahead and run it. And we're going to add a configuration file. We're going to do a new one. We're going to call it local host. You can see I already have one created here. Um, there's no security or anything. I'm just going to open the connection. So it claims it's connected. It's green. Let's go ahead and subscribe to something. I'm going to subscribe to the wildcard so I get absolutely everything. Then we're going to try publishing something. We're going to publish to a topic called test and our data will be Hello. So MQTT and Node-RED is up and running and ready for you to start developing.